A GOP delegate is actually being asked to resign after comparing the gay community to the Ku Klux Klan. In West Virginia, the Charleston Gazette Mail reports this is what the, the delegate said. Next. The LGBTQ is a modern day version of the Ku Klux Klan without wearing hoods with their antics of hate. He also called the gay community a terrorist group and said he is being persecuted by the gay community in retaliation for his remarks, including receiving threats on Facebook and voicemails. And this is not the first time, even this week, he's been under fire for his words because Wednesday he used an anti gay slur in a committee meeting. The major anti gay slur. He also criticized the LGBTQ community while arguing in support of an amendment that actually would have allowed for the discrimination of gay and lesbian people in cities that have passed ordinances expressly forbidding it. Now, luckily, that amendment was voted down. You look up Eric Porterfield on, uh, you Google him very quickly, and there's a bunch of interviews with him uh, where it's weird, he's wearing a MAGA hat. Surprising, I didn't yeah. see that coming. Who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought that? <laughs> um, he, uh, one of the criticisms he has of the uh, LGBT community is uh, LGBTQ, but he calls it the LGBT. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I, okay, uh, is that he calls it the most socialist group in the country. I love how socialism also has now become sort of the label that's well, getting thrown for around. For a long time, Mark, the LGBTQ community uh, has advocated for the government takeover of major businesses. And also, <laughs> the LGBTQ yeah. community is a euphemism for normal people living their normal lives. Of course, like it's just like the fact that he can even compare that to a terrorist group. No, he, that he would just throw one more more thing on what, right. again to see if it would stick. Let yeah. people live, and when someone says this harms you, listen to that. Focus on that. Like this is harmful. This is harmful. This he needs to go. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is hate mongering anything. rhetoric, obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When someone says, you know, hey, this is hateful, listen to it, and he's got to go. But what do you do? You know, these people are refusing to. They're refusing to go, and it requires yeah. then the actions of the rest of the uh, West Virginia legislature to remove him from office. I'm sure that process is incredibly difficult. It should be incredibly difficult because he was voted in, right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, hopefully, it'll at the bare minimum uh, he'll lose. But, They're just uh, using. The word that he used, it's just this, there's just no place for it. Yeah, yeah the, uh, um, uh, I mean, I just I can't imagine, can you imagine in a, in a so he's, he was at a, a committee meeting. Mm -hmm. And he thought it was okay to use that word. Yeah, and yeah. he's still a delegate. And, and again, I mean, and also the, the weakness and the sorry, devastating weakness of a guy like Eric Porterfield there. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, they're harassing me. Right. You know, come Gosh. on, man. People are holding you accountable. On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.